guys, Carl Cooper here with On the Black. So this is part two of the David Wright interview that uh, some reporters and bloggers, including myself, uh, had a chance to talk with Wright on Saturday uh, as he was hosting a baseball clinic at Chelsea Piers. In this uh, portion of the interview, we asked David Wright about Jose Reyes, his off-season workout plans, and much more. Uh, with Jose's option being picked up different for next year, you know, it's created the kind of talk where, you know, could Jose be a guy that they've talked about in deals and stuff like that? I mean, could you imagine not Jose not being on the team with you? Or yeah, kind of, you know, the same thing. As much as you I mean, yeah, need, I mean, need the guy. Kind of the same thing, you know, with me that, that, you know, both of us have talked and special coming up with an organization and, you know, kind of being through that good and that bad that I said before. Um, you know, I think Jose makes me a better player. I think that Jose kind of makes – puts our team at, at a different level. There's, you can tell a difference when you know he's in the lineup and not in the lineup. Um, you know, it makes our jobs a whole heck of a lot easier. You know, when he's doing the things that he can do uh, on the base pass, especially being you know a, kind of a you know the, the, one of those run producers in the middle of the lineup. So um, you know, I hope not, because um, like I said, he's uh, uh, he adds a different dynamic to the team. You know, when he's healthy and he's out there playing. Excuse me, David. Are you? Can you uh, tell us a little bit about what you plan to do in the uh, as part of your offseason uh, routine in terms of you know specific things you want to work on? Or I think uh, you know right now I'm just kind of in that 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 mode of trying to uh, um, you know physically get ready for for next year. Um, you know I, I take a lot of pride in trying to come to spring training and you know, the best physical shape that I can. Uh, pretty soon baseball activity is a start where um, I get back in the cage and, you know, I start throwing and taking ground balls and, and things like that. Um, you know, but, you know, as of, you know, right now, it's basically just trying to build that, that, that base and that foundation, um, you know, for 162 games because, you know, it's – I feel like I'm still relatively young, but, you know, each year, you know, it's, it's, it's more and more, you know, of a grind to try to – you know, stay healthy and, and, and stay physically, you know, able to go out there and try to play 162 games. And, and you know, each year, um, you know, you get a, a year older and, and you got to work a little bit harder. And, and, you know, that's what you try to put in during the offseason. Whether you acknowledge it or not, it seemed like last year people uh, said you came in much more, I don't know, like the workout made you look a little bit like more cut or whatever. Are, are you doing the same thing again this winter? Or? I mean, I, you know, I always like to think um, I come in in pretty good shape. Uh, but, yeah, kind of the same thing. I. Um, you know, I have a trainer that, that I love here. Um, you know, I have a trainer that I love back in, in Virginia, and I kind of go back and forth. So, um, you know, you try to, to to eat right. You know, you try to put the, um, you know, the right snacks in your body. You know, and, and you know, you kind of, uh, <laughs> you kind of, you kind of go from there. But, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's about, like I said, you know, it's, it's I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm still young. I still feel like there's, you know, a lot. Um, you know, hopefully I play for, for a long time. But, um, you know, you have to work harder you know, as you get older to, to try to get back in that good shape and be able to play that many games. Do you see yourself doing anything differently this offseason? I know it's strikeouts. You, you said you didn't really care about them or you know, there was some throwing issues maybe. I mean, do, can you do anything differently or do you intend to to kind of combat any of that? I mean, you know, you, know, you, you want to go out there and, and, of course, you know, you don't want to strike out. And of course, you, you want to make good throws. But... Um, you know, that's part of the game. You know, I think that, um, you know, I think that it's everybody's goal. It would be my goal to, you know, try to cut down on them. But I'm not going to try to change the hitter that I am or, or, or the, the run producer that I am because, um, you know, I, I struck out a few more times than I would have liked this last year. But, um, you know, if I'm, if I'm you know, driving in runs, that's, that's my job, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. But, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, it would be nice and, and – you know, I'm excited to kind of get going in that baseball mode again because it's, you know, hitting is just it's it's, it's always evolving. You know, it's, there's always something that you're trying to feel or do. Um, you know, so I'm going to get back started again and, and you know, hopefully find something where, you know, maybe I can I can drive the ball, I can drive in those runs and and, and try to, um, you know, cut down on those a little bit because you know, no one likes striking out. But like I said, I'm not going to um, try to change things too much where, um, you know, I'm trying to do something that's not part of my game and, and you know, I'm not going to try to slap the ball around for the sake of not striking out. Do you have any uh, reaction, Dave, to Charlie's situation? I mean, I, I know you were pretty close yeah, to you know, Charlie. I, I, and that's something that, you know, that, that's, that's, you know, unfortunately that's, that's you know, his, uh, you know, personal matter and, uh, you know, I prefer, you know, kind of stay out of it and not yeah. comment on it. You know, it's, 
it's obviously, um, you know, it, it's sad. And, uh, um, you know, I wish him, you know, the, the, the very best, but um, that's something that, you know, is his, his personal matter, and, and I'd, I'd like to kind of stay out of it. Excuse me, David. Um, in working in this clinic today, what are some of the, I guess, most important things you like to impart to the kids that you'll be working with? You know, I think that that obviously, um, any time I get a chance to talk to young kids, it's it's about you know hard work. It's about um, you know not just baseball, but you know school. Um, you know whatever that these kids have a desire to do when they get older, and they'll probably say you know be a professional baseball player, but um, try to be the best at it. You know, it's it's uh, you know I was fortunate where I had parents that pushed me growing up to to make good grades that you know help me study, help me do my homework, and and um, you know I always. You know, challenge myself to um, you know try to make A's, to try to make the best grades that I possibly could, and, and I think a lot of that translated onto the baseball field, where you know it taught me a lot of life lessons about you know hard work and, and being dedicated to something, and um, you know that's kind of the message that I want to uh, relay to these kids because um, you know it, it's it's you don't want to be average, you don't want to be uh, you know a follower, you want to you know be a leader and, and go out there and um, you know. Do what you want to do, and, and make sure you accomplish it. Did you uh, did you think Takahashi was a big loss for you guys, Dave? No, I mean, I think, he was kind. Of, he started off as a kind of a minor figure, but yeah. he turned out to be a pretty. I, I good agree. Guy you know, I think that um, you know, although we didn't have you know as much success as we would have liked this year as a team, you know, there were some bright spots, and I think um, you know Taka was one of those bright spots. You know, he did whatever this team asked him to do, whether it was start, be a long man, be a setup man, be a closer. Um, you know, and, and, and you know, I think that, that he will be missed. But at the same time, um, you know, the, the team and, and Sandy, they have to do, you know, what's best, what they think for this team. And, and you know, if, if, if the, the price wasn't right, then, you know, the price wasn't right. I mean, that's some of the tough decisions you have to make in this game. And, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, they couldn't come up with something. But, um, you know, like I said, just from, from hearing what, he's, what Sandy's talking about and, and talking to him the short time I have, it seems like he's got a very solid plan in place. And um, like I said, I you know I really like the direction that uh, in the short period of time that it sounds like the team is is, is going in. I'm excited to be a part of that, and, and uh, you know it's unfortunate that um, you know things sometimes don't work out the way that you, know, you or the fans would, would like them to. But you know it, it is what it is, and, and uh, you know we got to move on. Do you think he was uh, legit Takahashi? Is he going to go and continue to be successful? Well, yeah, I'm not uh, sure what what uh, from what I've read he wants to be a starter. I think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and uh, I think he can be valuable to a team in, a, in kind of a number of different ways. But, you know, if, if we didn't see him as a starter or, you know, his asking price was a little too high, then, um, you know, those are the tough decisions. Those are, that's why they get paid the big bucks, you know. It's, uh, uh, sometimes you have to make tough calls like that. And, uh, you know, but I think that, that, that he will go on and, and be successful because he's got – he locates his pitches well. He throws a number of different pitches for strikes, and um, you know he's not afraid, which I think is uh, you know, very important. He goes right after hitters, even though he doesn't have tremendously overpowering stuff.